Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to bring you guys another affordable slash drugstore brand of makeup, which is Wet n Wild, as you can tell by the title. Um, all these products you should be able to find in store. I don't remember any of them saying like exclusive exclusively online, but I will link it all down below in case I miss something. Um, and if you have any other questions about the product that I don't mention or answer in the video, please just ask them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if there's any other suggestions for any other brands or any other videos that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. But for now, let's zoom in closer and get started. Okay guys, so I zoomed you in closer. I did go ahead and moisturize already. So first we're going to go in with the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. This one retails for $5.49, but depending on where you shop, you could get it even cheaper. Again, Wet n Wild is one of those brands that, depending on the stores and stuff like that, sometimes they have buy one, get one 50% off, etc, etc. So I'm just going to go in with my fingers for this. Okay guys. Sorry, I know you could totally see my mirror, but I just want to make sure that I try to stay forward because I'm always like going into the corner here to try to get my makeup on. So I just want to have this in front of me a little bit better. So as far as primer, I feel like it does feel nice and primed, but I do like the Kat Von D uh, Prime and Correct because it leaves your eyelids pretty white and all one color kind of like a base that we could get started um with like a white base on the bottom so I do prefer that but so far I mean it feels primed and just so you know I did get their brush set the brush set comes with a traveling case I did add two of these blending brushes because the blending the blending brush that comes with that is like really tightly packed so I just went in and set that with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. They did have this one in Translucent, Banana, and Deep, if I remember correctly. I don't know if something was sold out or not, but I remember them only having the three options. I did get the Deep to see if I can set my face with it, but we'll see when we get there. Um, so you get this big container, and I believe it's $5.99. I will link it down below, but I believe it's $5.99. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild uh, Color Iconic Quads, I think they're called. I don't know what they're called. I think it's just palettes. They're palettes, guys. <laughs> they look like this. Um, they're super gorgeous. I'm going to try to go into just one. I like the My Glamour Squad. Um, gives me those vibes that I'm in the mood for. All the brushes that I use today are going to be wet and wild. I'm even going to apply my foundation with a brush instead of my sponge. I hope this transition color is not too dark. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go and then we'll see where it takes me. So I'm going to go into the transition color which is the shade up at the top and just take that on my blending brush. Now as far as eyeshadow I don't think I've tried many of their eyeshadows. So we'll take it there. I think I'm going to go into this little mauve shade almost, like a brown mauve shade. And I did forget to mention that these eyeshadow palettes are only $4.99. I did get it on the website. Again, depending on where you shop, the prices may vary. So I think I'm going to take it there. And we're going to dip a tiny bit into this little more reddish brownish shade okay can't lie those two last shades look like the same color almost if there's like a very slight difference and then dipping a tiny bit into the black i'm going to do the black and the brown shade at the bottom so a little bit of both just to darken up here in that outer corner and then taking that same fluffy brush that we've been using Going back into the transition shade and the little mauve brown shade. Just helping that black diffuse a little better. Let's go with the gold. The gold right here. We're just going to take the flat brush and I'm going to apply it first and then if I need to I'll spritz it, which I'll probably need to spritz it. So. I also did get that Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray and it looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz that brush at 
after I load it up. So I'm just going to load it up with that gold color. And then I'm just going to take it and so I'm just spritzing that. And then going in. So then into that inner corner, we're going to take a smaller flat brush. The white or like cream color right here. And we're going to see how that looks a little bit more closer to the inner corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and I'll be right back so we could continue with the rest of the products. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I finished up the other eye with the palette. This one is the My Glamour Squad, just so you know all the palettes that they have have a different name. So this is the one I'll be linking, but you can easily just change and look through the ones that you might want or like. So we'll finish the under eye in a minute. Let me just make sure I am completely cleaned off. And I'm going to go in to the face now and we are going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Matte Primer. That is literally what it's called, Matte Matte. This one retails for $5.69. Again, shop around because I believe when I was looking at the information on Target, it's like a dollar less. So a little shopping around. Is it going to hurt anybody? I'm just saying. Okay, so I let that primer sit for just a couple seconds. Well, for like a good minute, I should say. And now I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You guys, I did a full review on my channel with just using this foundation. It is probably one of my new favorite foundations. So I'm going to go ahead and take this straight to my face this time. And we're just going to kind of paint it on here because I am going in with a brush oh I hope this is not a lot okay we're just gonna put that much on and then we will see so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wet n wild foundation brush and hope for the best I'm so nervous I don't really like to use brushes so now that we have that set, we're just going to go in with concealer. I am going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This one is in the color Light Medium Beige. It looks a little too white in the tube to me, but I think maybe once I take it out of here, it'll be more my shade, kind of, because I like it a little lighter than my foundation. And that'll be perfect since I think this foundation is just like a tiny bit uh, too dark. So I will say, this one has like a little funny smell, not my favorite, and it's thick. It's not heavy, but it's thick. She thick. Okay, that wasn't a good brush, but uh, I think I'm just going to wet my beauty blender, you guys. I'm going to cheat. I'm sorry. The concealer is too thick to go in with a brush it's leaving like little streaks okay so I'm gonna just go in and set that with the translucent powder and this angled fluffy brush while we got that done so now I did go I did also get the wet n wild photo focus in the color deep I'm gonna take it on a brush and then I'm just gonna go in more than anything I'm just trying to blend the whiteness of that concealer so hopefully this doesn't make me orangey because in the container guys I don't know if I don't know how it looks on your end but it looks orangey <laughs> so now that we have that all set and hopefully even um, I'm gonna go in with the wet n wild mellow wine blush it looks like this it's a gorgeous color it is a little bit deeper which I love again fall vibe I love it and this one does retail for $2.89 and I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog. I just realized this. I know how to zone her out. But I just realized that she's breathing so heavy. Just like that. And then I did get a bronzer. I'm a little nervous because I'm not a huge bronzer wearer. But for the sake of trying as many products as I can. And this one is the color Queensland. And it looks like that. I mean, I feel like it might be doing a little something, something, but nothing major. 
which I'm okay with. And now for highlight, I did get two highlights. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use, so we will see. I feel like they're pretty similar, so we'll open them up and swatch them and see. But I got the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlight Powder, and this is in the color Crown of My Canopy. It is a gorgeous color. On the finger, we're looking like that. So it is a gorgeous highlight. Honestly, you guys, I'm a person that I like buildable highlights because sometimes I like to go in there and like really do the thing and sometimes I'm like, mm. And this one is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder and this one is in the color All Glown Up. Taking that on the other finger, I just dabbed it onto the other one. So we are looking like this beautiful shine. So I would say they're very close in color, but the loose pigment one is definitely lighter. So I think I'm just going to have to tap into both. <laughs> I'm going to use a blending brush and I'm just going to tap into both of the highlights and then tap off the excess. So now that we have our highlight on, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. It looks like this. It is a little teeny tiny thing, but it does retail for $5.49. And then just with my fan. So now I have that all set and dry. I did know that I had something for the brow bone highlight. I didn't realize it. This is the Ultimate, Ultimate Brow Highlighter. It is pinky looking so that makes me a little nervous it's like slightly pinky looking so I'm just gonna go in here very lightly and blend that with my finger oh that doesn't look bad at all okay okay now for mascara we are gonna go in with these two just because I was looking at the brushes mainly and this one has a little bit of a thicker brush and this one has a little bit of a thinner brush you guys know that I like to go in there with different mascaras that's part of the reason the brushes okay you guys finally i couldn't get them out of the package i did zoom you in a little closer just so you could see a little bit of the eye action none of these are waterproof so hopefully they don't damage my lashes but let's just and just alternating between the two okay guys so i think i'm gonna take it about there um it's not the worst mascara i mean I'm okay with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit and then I'm gonna go in and do the other side and then I'll be right back. So I'm gonna go in with the Mega Last Liquid Katsu High Shine Liquid Lipstick. And it doesn't say liquid lipstick, but it's a liquid lipstick, it's liquid in here. <laughs> I did get two lip liners, but one's too light and one's too pinky. So I'm gonna skip out on the lip liners. But they are super creamy and they do look like this. Okay, hopefully that looks even. <laughs> I would normally line my lips and have that not get all the way to the lip line, but it's fine. So I love that one. And then I, I also have the Color Iconic Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Libra, you guys. It is such a gorgeous shade i'm gonna swatch it for you i don't know if i'm gonna apply it but i'm a libra and it's pretty much almost libra season it might even be libra season once you see this it's gorgeous it's like a quartzy rose gold pink i love it let's i'm gonna dab just a little bit in the center hopefully Okay, and lastly, we have the Ultimate Brow Mascara. This is in the shade Nothing But Brunette. And this is just eyebrow gel. You have a little wand, like a little mascara wand. Let's hope it's not too big for my brows. I definitely think if you have thin brows, this is going to be a little bit. Okay, hopefully my mirror is out of frame, but that is it guys. This is the complete look of Wet n Wild makeup. I actually really fell in love with some of these products. Okay, quick rundown. We're going to start with the base going on up, even though I went in with my shadow first. Okay, so as far as the primer, 
honestly, I would definitely say it says that it it's a lightweight formula. It refines the appearance of pores. It smooths skin for even makeup application. This is the first time I use it. I don't know how well it's going to hold up, but does it look like anything major changed on my skin? No. Up next, we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Now this one, I still feel like is a tad bit too dark for me, but I will get the other one to mix it. Um, other than that, I absolutely love this foundation. You guys, under $7? Under $7 for this foundation. I love it. I think it lays nicely on the skin. I think you need to go out and grab it. So up next, we have the concealer. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. I didn't like this. I feel like number one, the color was way too white to be a medium beige. The smell that it has, no, uh-uh, no, I don't like it. It almost like made my eyes water, so I don't like that. Up next, we will do the Photo Focus Setting Powders. This one is in the color Deep, and this one is in the color Translucent. So for these ones, I would definitely say that they're nice and soft. The transition, the, tra the translucent one is, I don't know, like I feel like it reminds me of the Airspun setting powder. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. So I do like that one. The deep, I don't know if I would necessarily say somebody that has darker skin tone than me, maybe like a shade, maybe two, would be able to use it. But other than that, I feel like if you were any darker, it would just be like, I don't know, as if you were using a, tran a translucent setting powder almost because it's super light, which I don't hate. I think that's great and I think that's why they have these, these colors, like this deep setting powder because I don't think it's supposed to pay give you a lot of pigment payoff, but I do think that if you are darker, I don't know if it would go like just orangey tinted or not. Do you know what I mean? I'm not really sure. So moving on to blush. You guys, I love their blushes. I own like two or three colors. I have a lot of blushes, so I don't have like their full range collection. Maybe one day, I don't know, but I, I've never had an issue with any of their blushes. I love. So up next, we have highlight. This one was the pressed highlight, and this one was the loose powder highlight. Personally, I liked this one a little bit more. There's not like a specific reason. Just when I put it on, I liked it more. I don't know. I feel like it's just a little bit more brighter. This one's a little bit more darker, but nothing's really wrong with this one. So moving on to the eyes, the eye primer. So the eye primer, I didn't mind it too much. I do feel like I can almost feel it on my eyes. It doesn't feel heavy to me, but I could see somebody saying, oh, I feel like it feels heavy and be like, okay, I can see that because I could feel it and I feel like I normally can't feel my primer, if that makes sense. But there was nothing bad to it. I mean, the makeup's on, it blended on well on top of it. So there's that. So up next, we have the eyeshadow palettes. I did just use the one palette, but they are both gorgeous colors. I will say, I feel like... If you're too light you almost can't use these ones I don't I don't know if I would even say that the transition color is a different shade in the other palette I feel like if you're too light the transition shade might be too dark I don't know you would have to test that out I just feel like it might be too dark but the shadows themselves are pretty good I wasn't expecting them to be super blendable but they they were pretty blendable. They're pretty good. They're pretty good quality shadows. Um, again, under $5, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but I do like the shimmer shadows. I mean, once you wet them, I think they look way better than just going straight in with a brush. Up next, we have that um, highlighting, the ultimate brow highlighter. I mean, it looks nice. I don't think it looks as pinky as it does on here. But I don't know if it's necessary. I mean, if you're really just going in with one of their palettes, then it's necessary because I don't think any of them had a brow bone highlight. But other than that, I don't know. I, I mean, it's, I believe, almost $5. Like, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Up next, we have the mascaras. Now, this mascara, which is the lengthening one, I will say that 
I can kind of see why they call it the lengthening one, but this is to me more of that like mascara that you're going to do like a no makeup makeup look or you just want to give a little bit of dimension to your eyelashes. I wouldn't say that it was doing much of anything. It wasn't thickening. It was definitely maybe lengthening like I'm not even sure if it was doing that but that's what I think about the purple one and the mega protein one now this one I'm pretty sure you're they want you to like keep using it it's gonna help your lashes grow this is obviously the first time I'm using it so I can't say anything on that also I do feel like the bristles on the brush are just a little bit too much spaced out so it can like clump your lashes together because it's just, the brush is just trying to grab as many lashes as it can but it's gonna have that like separated look so I didn't love that so I'm glad that I did pick up both because this one helped kind of separate and this one helped kind of thicken but I probably wouldn't reach for either one and then we have our natural finish setting spray this one felt good I don't think that it feels heavy or sticky or I don't think it made my skin more glowy or more dry or anything like that they do have a mattifying one I believe so that if you are looking for more of a mattifying situation they do have that on the website but this one just is the natural finish and I think it did exactly what it says it's gonna do which is set my makeup and everything looks more blended in, more set into the skin. So I do like this one. Lastly, we have the lip products. So the lip liners, I do like. I would suggest get them in the store though. Because clearly, based off the pictures that I saw, these are very different. But they are very creamy. So if you do like more of a creamy lip liner, these ones are going to be your lip liners. Going in with the High Shine lipsticks, again... To me, this is basically a gloss, like a colored gloss. I would not call it a lipstick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe on their website, it, it's more lip glossy, but on the packaging, it says lipstick. To me, this is a gloss. Um, it feels like a really nice gloss. It doesn't feel like super gloopy or anything like that. Maybe that's why they consider it more of a lipstick. I'm not sure. Um, the shades are gorgeous. I didn't open this one to swatch it because I think I want to save it for a giveaway because I do think I wouldn't wear this color. But this one is a gorgeous color. I love it. I feel like almost anybody can use this shade. I love it. I feel like it's a great nudie color to have. And then the fun lip gloss is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And they did have the rest of the signs on there. I just got the Libra one because I'm a Libra. And because honestly it was one of the more pretty ones. <laughs> but it just gives, you know, it's I would use this more like a topper. Or if I was doing like no makeup makeup, then maybe just dab a little bit on the center of my lips kind of thing. Because for me it's too high shine pinky. But if you like that look, it's for you then. <laughs> I know I said lastly, but I think these are definitely lastly. The brushes. I don't hate the brushes. I do like their blending brushes the best. I would say if you can at least get one brush, get a blending brush from them. But I do think that some of their brushes are a little plasticky feeling. But the big fluffy brush, I love. And then the foundation brush, I don't think it did a bad job putting on foundation. I don't really like the brush to apply foundation normally. But I just wanted to try to use as many wet and wild products as I could in this video. But I believe that is all the products. So overall, I hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos. I love these videos. I hope you guys like the way the makeup looks. I hope it looks as good as it does here in my mirror because this screen is always playing me. So I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of wet and wild makeup. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see any other brands or any other products or any other videos, let me know in the comments below as well. And I will let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to share the videos with your friends. Help them out. Save them some money. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Adios.